Welcome back to Out of the Blue. We are in the press area, beautiful seats, and I'm sure we've got a bit of a commentator here, Zach. Well, I do like to dabble <laughs> in my bedroom whilst playing FIFA. I do. Christian Pulisic scored a hat trick a few weeks back. He did. Can you give us a rundown of the first goal, please? If yeah. I have to, Fine. because after a Burnley mistake, Christian Pulisic picks up the ball. He travels 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards. He's on the edge of the box. It's a step over with his right foot onto his left, bottom right hand corner. Captain America does it again. <laughs> and that is why he's here with us and not in the commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. What are we doing this week? Well, obviously, Frank Lampard has called me and said he needs me this weekend. So we are going to Nike Town to make me look the part, yeah. to become a professional footballer. And as Remembrance Sunday is coming up, we're off to go meet some Chelsea pensioners. But firstly, we're going to meet the goal scoring machine, the number nine of Chelsea, Mr. Tammy Abraham. Proper joke, that one. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are about to go through Tammy Abraham's social media. I am so excited. Are you excited? I can't wait. I can't wait to meet him. Yes, Ruben said last time he is the one to get in next. So we're just waiting for him to finish training and we will get stuck in. Okay, so last time we had Ruben on here chatting about social media and he said you were the guy to get on next. So here you are. <laughs> just going to show you yeah, cool. what he said. Tammy dug you out a little bit yeah. and he said that you are the biggest poser in the squad without a doubt, <laughs> no? Do you know what? I think Tammy is... You lot don't have him on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite... He does that little squint. Like, yeah, Zion. I know, I know. It's a great squint. Yeah. I want to see this squint. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have you on Snapchat. Can you show us how to do it? Go I on. don't know what he's talking about. Just when I go to take a selfie, just... There it is. Yeah, it's the next one. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, okay, on to the next photo, on to the next photo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how cute you look. Look at your hair. You're oh so young gosh. there, man. How old, old are you there? You've got to be like eight, nine. I was about eight years older. Jeez. Oh my god, so cute. Also, this yeah. hair, yeah. I actually found a picture All of right. Zach doing this. Look, <laughs> this was two years ago. Yeah. Oh. And someone did it, and I. My God! Look, it's my worst. It's the worst <laughs> picture the I've ever had. Look at the pose. It's the worst picture I've ever had. Okay? I think it's, it's the best photo. No, oh my God! Why have we done this, man? <laughs> Who did it better? It's easy, though. You should do it. Again. Nah, man. Right. Nah, man. I mean, I kind of want to go with your like uh, blonde tips. I was thinking maybe. Right, this is my favourite bit. I've got a tweet here. Probably one of the oh. best tweets I've ever seen. Oh no! It's one of your tweets. It oh, says, no. "People say you are what you eat." That's funny because I don't remember eating a sexy piece <laughs> this morning. Oh, that is such a good tweet. Listen, listen I was young. <laughs> I, I was young. I don't even remember writing this. <laughs> but that is actually hilarious, though. That's jokes. No, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Proud yeah, of myself. yeah. Bars. I don't remember eating a sexy beast this morning. Confidence from young man. It's key. Oh my gosh, isn't it? It is. It is key. Right, next one. Now, this is obviously yeah. a picture of you making your debut uh, against Liverpool back in 2016. Yeah. Um, when did you find out you were going to play, and who kind of told you that you were going to come on the pitch? Um, was well, Steve Holland at the time. He told me um, that I was travelling the next day. I looked at him. I was like, "Me?" He was like, "Yeah, you're on the bench tomorrow. All of you, me, Fikayo, Tomori, and Casey Palmer." Oh. So we've all looked at each other, and I remember we just got, ran back into the changing room. We just were on the phone to our parents saying, oh. "We're travelling. We're travelling." That's so and, cute. Um, I just remember being on the bench at Anfield. You know, I was just. It was unreal. Yeah. Um, I went to warm up. It was me and Ruben warming up, and the manager's gone, come over. And I was like, Ruben, he's calling you. And then he's like, no, you. And I remember I just came over. He's like, it's your time now. I just got changed. And I remember I was so nervous. <laughs> I couldn't even wear my top properly. That's so sick. Yeah, it was a proud moment for me. Oh, that's so cute. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> good memories, good memories. <laughs> What? I only posted this like yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. They're on it. Oh, They're on it. On it. oh my god. So I've been banned about a bit since I was like 12. I've not had nothing on my face. But um, it's good, it's good now. Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah. It's good. Give it it's time, good. man. Things don't, you know. Have you tried that cream that makes it come out? I've tried every single product <laughs> there is. I've tried everything. They've told me to shave it off, it didn't grow back. Um, I tried different creams and 
Yeah, because apparently that is supposed to, like, if you shave it more, like, it comes back, like, thicker and stronger. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Here we are. This Same. is... I think one of my favourite photos of you, after you bagged your first hat trick for the club against Wolves, what was the feeling afterwards? I just remember the third goal going in, and I was like, in my head, as I was celebrating, I was, I went for a knee slide, I was like, Tammy, you just got a, a hat trick. You know, I've looked up at the Chelsea fans, everyone's going crazy. Um, after the game, me, Fick and Mason was the last one to go back into the change room, you know, we're just talking and said, listen guys, we were all in the championship last year, now we're playing for Chelsea. You know, we've won youth cups and that together, and now we've all scored in the same game. In terms of scored a hat trick, you know. It's all so good. So, Tammy, thank you so much for sitting with us and going through your social media. So, who do you think we should get next? Is there anyone else? I think I someone. Oh, okay. Has he got any specific okay. posts that you know of? Oh, I can send you some. That's fine. I can send you some. <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> some screenshots. <laughs> Okay, amazing. Thank you again Thank for you. sitting Thank with us and chatting. Thank you guys. Right, guys, we are in Nike Town, London. I'm not sure if you noticed the badge over my left shoulder. Indeed. I mean, we've also got some other not so great badges, but we won't talk about it. We'll them. just cover them. Yeah. Hopefully, they're not in shot. We've obviously done the ice treatments, right. which yes. help us to recover well. We've done yeah. the ballet. We will remember. Yeah. Yeah, so that helps it, us to be nice and fluid. <laughs> and now, I'm obviously continuing my quest to be a professional footballer. Yeah. Somehow. And the top one at that. So, we're going to be meeting a Nike expert who's going to basically make me look like a pro, feel like a pro, and be a pro, hopefully. I don't know if they, they, they quite equal together like that. They but, do, um... they do. Let's go and get my proof. It's enough for me. Mike, we are at Nike Town London. You are the expert. You need a bit that's gonna take you to the next level. Well, it's really important that boots are comfortable, first of all. Yeah. Uh, they fit the style of play that you play. And also, it's always good to look good, right? Of course. Should we have a walk down our boot wall? Yes. So obviously, you've got your centre midfielder, Jorginho. I am a centre midfielder. Well, you don't get much better than this for a centre midfielder. Really yeah. soft leather, you can feel it yourself. Yeah, that's beautiful. That allows Jorginho to have that good first touch, never loses the ball. What do and you think it, of that? Yeah, it's a beautiful boot. Great player, I, yeah. and I actually play like Jorginho a little bit. All oh, right. An aggressive Jorginho. Uh, don't know about that. I mean, let's, should we yeah, move on? Yeah, 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 let's, yeah, move, let's on. move on. Yeah. Let's move on. Keep that one in mind. Yeah, we'll keep yeah. that one in mind. And obviously, you've got your young gun. You've got Mason Mount, who's on fire at the moment. He is. He wears our Phantom Vision. You've got the dynamic mm. fit round there. L looks really sleek, really sock, yeah. Mm. What do you think of that? That's a, that's a, that's a beautiful That's a boot. playmaker's boot, right? It's, it's such a beautiful boot that I don't know if it's for me. For you, it's maybe, white, you maybe know. White. It's like, yeah, it's so flashy. Oh man, this is the type of player. When I see a player wearing this boot, <laughs> that's the one I've got to mark out of the game. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to. So, I don't want to mark right, myself. Okay, so we'll, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You may have seen Christian Pulis Pulisic scored a hat trick in these boots. Yes, his first ever professional hat trick, actually. And the perfect hat trick. And the perfect hat trick. You were, you must have been watching the game. Yeah. You've got the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13, really light. It's almost like a sprint spike. What do you think of that? Oh, Blue, just like the that. kit as oh. well. Ah, to be honest, this boot is, for me, the one that speaks to me. It speaks the to one. my spirit. It's the one that says, you're going to get a hat trick now. It's the hat trick boot. Well, do you know what? I think we have our winner. Well, you need to try <laughs> them on first to, to make sure, like I said, they're the right fit for you. But we have our trial kit to do that. Would you like to come and take a try? Why not? Why Hang not? On. If Dan's getting a go, I want to go. OK. You might as well join as well, Porsche. Yeah, yeah, go on then. Sounds good to me. Where the Jorginho's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I suppose if these are good enough for Pulisic, they're good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. If I could kick a ball, I think that'd be pretty good. That way, Porsche. That way, Porsche. Next time. <laughs> so we are here at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, where the Chelsea pensioners live. We are about to leave. 
two pensioners who are also massive, massive Chelsea fans. And they're going to tell us about why they support Chelsea and their links to the club. Tell me about other Chelsea pensioners. About Chelsea pensioners? Yeah. Well, first of all, we've got to be ex-soldiers. Yeah. Right? We don't have any dependents. Okay. And there's nearly 300 of us here. 300. 300 wow. housed in these buildings here. It's a beautiful building. Uh, so you guys also have very strong links to Chelsea Football Club. So how did that come about? And uh, are you guys regulars to the games? Obviously, their original nickname was known as the Pensioners because we're right near the ground. <laughs> wow. In fact, you could walk it from here if you were fit enough. <laughs> well, it's getting a bit cold out here. Do you think we should be able to head inside and see yes. your, your club? Yes, by all means. Yeah, yeah, you you me. Be our guests. <laughs> <laughs> So can you tell us a bit more about the link between Chelsea and the Chelsea pensioners? We are invited to every home game. We've got seven tickets. Yes, and also uh, four various big matches, if you like, like cup finals. Um, we provide a guard of honour for the players. I think to see sort of 20 Chelsea pensioners there in their scarlets and the rest of it, it makes a good backdrop for the players coming on to the pitch. I think it's really good. So, why you supported Chelsea? Are there any specific moments that have like, really stood out to you? Didier Drogba's goal for us to win the Champions League. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I go, it's always special. Yeah. And if they score, I think it does this cloud to do. <laughs> that excited. Yes, well, we'd like to wish Chelsea the best of seasons this season. And hopefully, at the end of it, Alistair and myself will be out there doing a special guard of honour. <laughs> we really look forward to that. Even in the rain. Even in the rain, yes. <laughs> So that's this week's Out of the Blue done. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We are in Jody Morris and Frank Lampard we seats right indeed. now. And I feel like I'm getting closer to, to this dugout as a whole. Oh you know, we went to Nike Town. I felt like a player. I looked like a player. You I performed like a player. Like a player. Yeah. I mean, you look like a player. Uh, Frank, if you are listening, give him a bit more time at least. And Tammy Abraham was also amazing. There's some great reaction to his photos, but he's so tall. He's so tall. Fair it's play to him. Defenders yeah, must be crying thing. every time they see him on the team sheet. But as I said, that is the end of this week's Out of the Blue. If you guys have enjoyed it, please drop it a like. And why not comment what footballer you want us to interview next and what we should do in the comment section below. As I said, that's it. We'll see you in a fortnight. Bye.